Pastor Jake. I'm on vacation right now, but I literally apparently can't help myself. So I am here at uh, Beach House Cantina in Austin, and um, I got I got Pastor. Okay, can the people see the Pastor? Look at this. See, this is this is next level Pastor. Um, I'll tell you first off that. Um, We've already had chips and salsa, of course, and both of their salsas, look at here, here we go. Both of these salsas are crema-like. This is like a jalapeno crema. This is like, it's got ancho chili. Uh, it's smoky and delightful. And then I had the the, um, the scallop appetizer. Oh, she's giving it to you. The scallop appetizer. Really good. Yeah, very, very good. And so our report back, I mean, this looks fantastic. Um, I'll report back uh, in just a minute. And, uh, you know, mad props to Colleen for filming all this. <laughs> everybody so here's the deal these are good like we had a wonderful meal I had sea scallops they were great uh, salsas as I mentioned totally great these were good they were very clearly like slow cooked pork and then uh, griddled uh, for sure like this was not on a spit and it, so this is a crazy thing I think four tacos came with this uh, like tortillas and they were homemade and they were delightful um, but Ale tacos, you don't have to come to Austin. Like go 15 minutes down the road uh, from the church down to 3040 on the other side of the highway and you will find yourself in the shade of Mount Louisville eating the best dadgum Al Pastor taco you can find. And so yes, these are great. So if you're in Austin, like vibe-wise, uh, Licha's Cantina, oh, here we go. Great. Um, but if you're just looking for like a solid Al Pastor taco, you don't have to come the whole way down to Austin. But this is what you do have to do. I'm on vacation. Um, maybe, I don't know if you know this, but like the Ten Commandments, there are two versions of them. One of those versions gives the, uh, the commandment to Sabbath, which is to take a rest on the seventh day, um, differently than the other. And it says that you're supposed to do that rest on the seventh day because you're not a slave anymore. Which is to say, um, Egypt, right, which is where they have come out of recently, uh, made them slaves and they couldn't take any rest. And so God says, I freed you from that sort of like slavery to production. And so here's what I would say to you. Take a dadgum rest. Like Jesus literally tells you that you have to. It's one of the, like the 10 most important, this is crazy. 10 most important things you could possibly do according to the Old Testament. And one of those is to like take a break. It's the, what you make is not the most important thing about you. Like let that soak in that you are great and God loves you without you having to, to make it to do and if that means that you need to step back and scale back your expectations for yourself then do it because guess what you're going to retire one day and then what are you going to do with yourself you're going to have to figure this out so uh yes take a rest plan it put it in your calendar and uh and so be blessed and so apparently just to be obedient to jesus so we'll see you uh when i get back to town grace and peace and uh yeah later friends